that to be true. It'd be very nice to meet you one day, Mr. Jimmy Savile, just, well, you know. if you've got a sister, you could meet me by bringing her along. I, I mean, I haven't got any sisters, I but... I don't usually meet fellas, but if you've got a sister, that's okay. I've got a personal assistant called Marsha, and part of her job description is that anyone I demand she, um, greets, meets, massages, she has to do it. She's very attractive, Jimmy. Well, that's, that's, that's a good start. R what a kind of start? You could send her along to do some research. Would you like her to wear anything in in particular, Sir Jimmy? <laughs> I'd actually prefer her to wear nothing. Right. So you want Marsha, my assistant, to meet you naked? Okay. Well, that's that's not going to be that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> nothing Sh wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, Jimmy. It's just the last time I spoke like this was the Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I never trusted those Father Christmases in Debenhams or other stores. They're available. Oh, I said stores instead of shops. I've been in America. Too too long. I don't, I don't trust the Father Christmases you get these days, Jimmy. I think you perhaps you should be, uh, I think you're, a, a, I've always thought of you as a sort of a Father Christmas figure, you know, oh, solving I problems. I drop in wages. <laughs> Jimmy, it's, it's been divine of you, uh, to talk to me in this restaurant. Thank you very much. Um, I wonder, could, um, would you pass on my best wishes to your beautiful dinner companion and, uh, perhaps you'd consider coming on the show again in the future? Who knows? I'm always available, and my beautiful dinner companion will have to remain secret because she is of outstanding beauty. Ooh. And as such, if you saw her, you would lust after her. Particularly if I saw her with you, because that just heightens the sexuality of the situation. Thinking no, the no, no, I'm not into threesomes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jimmy, it, there was a time when you were the defining voice of the uh, BBC, and perhaps I still am. <laughs> you are now. You are tonight. But I you should be, am. as well as passing down information, you should be passing along other things. People could argue. I've never passed anything in my life. I only take. <laughs> Jimmy Savile, thank you very much for your call. Hey, Jimmy, could we? Honour and a pleasure. And in the words of Omar Khayyam. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Savile there! My word, what a moment for us all!